So basically what I want to do is I want to uh, paint the uh, river and I need to basically get done er with everything that's going to go underneath uh, my curved bridge so I can get ready to do ballast. So what I'm going to do basically is uh, I'm going to put some paint in my paint tray here and I found uh, some uh, Teddy Bauer Brown and I'm going to use that. And uh, why don't you just uh, watch me as I uh, make this come to life. And I got the camera a little low because I want you to watch what I'm doing. I think that adds more substance to it. Not really going to uh, water this down or anything. I don't think that's uh, going to be what I want to do. So. basically blow out everything in there that I don't want to uh, paint. So I'm going to paint uh, the brown on the bottom here and then I'm going to start raising up out of there. And it'll actually start uh, reflecting that in the video. Maybe I should try a little water. Let's see what that does. I went ahead and uh, mixed it in with some water. And as you know, uh, acrylic paints is more of a uh, chemically induced paint and not a uh, water-based paint. So now I can cover it better and faster. Did a pretty good job on covering that up now. I'm going to paint the dirt up on the steep part of the bank here as well. I'll be uh, painting uh, the rest of the uh, terrain in the next step. I'll be painting that uh, canyon wall and uh, be getting the rest of the stuff done as I uh, can afford to go get the paint. So I'm dripping a little bit, so I'm going to put that a bit lower. So this actually has some waterfalls that are going to start uh, being seen here. So I'm actually going to paint the front of the waterfalls too. It just has that area where it's going to fall over at. Like I said, I'm trying to paint just the, the area where the water resin is going to go here. Now you can actually start to see the, uh, the river color start to take place here. That's what I was hoping you were going to see. So I'm uh, basically painting uh, around where these rocks were at to represent uh, the darker soil that should be down inside there. Just dab it into them rocks. I want any white showing when you're all done with your uh, display. Ground cover dirt can cover some of that up as well, but let's try to cover up uh, most of this white with our, uh, our muddy dirt collar.
I like that a little bit better. Just keep uh, stirring the uh, water that I mixed in with that. Let's uh, just keep coming up out of there. A lot of the rivers uh, just show a muddy bottom unless they're kind of dry. When you look down inside of a river, it's, it's mostly uh, mud or uh, dark uh, soil that you're seeing. to where I think the water resin is going to go. And as you can tell, it's starting to uh, take shape. This is kind of what I was hoping to uh, accomplish in this step. It means I'm uh, just working on it. Uh, let's just go ahead and cover it all. Um, all of the riverbed areas. And as you can tell, these banks kind of contour down inside the uh, river bank, but I'm not going to come up on the bank. I'm just doing where the water resin is going to go. And then when we paint the uh, other colors, I'll use some uh, different colors down into it. I'll mix up a little bit more of my uh, brown here into this uh, solution. Teddy bear brown. Might have to do a couple of coats on here. We'll see. shirt that uh, you use for work before you want to use a good shirt for doing this. front of where that head gate's going to go. We want to have a uh, brown up on our concrete head gate area. Just hit inside of the bank where the uh, resin's going to go, not the whole thing. I'll show you in another step video of what uh, I'll do on the banks on the, on the side of this river. This is supposed to look like a just a deep muddy river. And when I put some coloration into the, the water resin, make it look like it's a bluish water on top of this uh, brown, it ought to look uh, pretty nice that way. See this uh yeah, this is going to, this is underneath my train track bridge here. Let's just uh, seal that in there again. Let's go ahead and uh, find this the rest of the way.
lot of the white is showing through because I watered it down. I'll let this dry, then I'll do a second coat on it. Let's just uh, hang on here and see what this looks like. Uh, that old muddy riverbed in there. This is when the layout comes to life, when you start putting the collar into it. Paint down here on the front of this thing. Well, you can't see that in the video, I guess. Now I got the first coat basically covered. I think that looks pretty good for a first coat. I'll uh, let this dry. Then I'll uh, mix up uh, right out of the bottle, and then that way it's, uh, the porcelain in that area is already covered here. That'll be a, easier to take the uh, thicker coat. I didn't want to waste it all trying to color that in. So let's uh, come back uh, here in just a little bit, and let's see what this looks like with a darker coat on there. But I'm gonna let this dry, see in a little bit. Well, I let it dry and I've uh, started uh, painting the bottom two rows of the river. Let's uh, do this on camera so you can see it getting a little darker as I come towards it. Looks like a muddy river. This time I'm using the acrylic paint right out of the bottle. Basically I want a very good coverage now. This will be my final coat. Pretty cool, I think. That uh, first uh, diluted coat helped because it sealed the harshness of the stuff I used to build this plaster cloth and sculpt mold. So as you can see, it's uh, starting to get a lot browner coming up there. Last uh, row coming at you. squirt of it's teddy bear brown really makes it come to life don't it Yeah, if you haven't uh, subscribed to this uh, YouTube channel, now would be a good time to do it, my friends. Uh, you get a notification every time I post a, a video of my uh, working on my train layout. It also helps my channel to grow. And if you like it, uh, give me a thumbs up on it so I know that you like uh, what I'm doing here. This is a uh, step uh, 12, I believe, now. I 
like that. It looks uh, pretty uh, muddy now. But uh, my friends, just keep watching these uh, little video sections and you're going to see how this is going to come to life. I still have to add uh, two more inches of foam back here. My reason for doing that is because uh, I have a heat register over on the floor and I want to be able to uh, not cover that heat register up and this has to be at a certain uh, distance over there because I got a light switch here and I'm putting a three quarter inch piece of uh, finished stuff on there. So uh, this is the, the background that you're seeing and when it's all said and done I'll be shaping this background down so it'll be at the end of the uh, um, total of three inches of, of uh, foam that I'll have there. So uh, I'm uh, liking this really good. So the next thing I will do here is uh, we'll paint the whole uh, um, surface a uh, raw sienna and then we'll highlight that and then what I'll do is I'll take some uh, sandstone uh, grout and I'll be mixing in uh, up on the bank where it starts to level out at. I think that'll give it a pretty cool uh, concept uh, when we get to that point. So. My friends, uh, thanks for uh, watching uh, this uh, little uh, um, step here. It's uh, pretty critical. I'm actually trying to get uh, things done um, underneath my bridge because uh, I want to get it sealed down so I can get my track uh, glued down and, and start to ballast it. So everything has to be done in steps in order to do the next step. So check back later.